Mount Wilson has played quite a role in history. The observatory has made a name for itself in all the discoveries uh, that have been made with astronomy up there. And broadcasting as well has made quite a name for itself. Recently, I was able to be up there with Doug and Maria as we were going over some of the systems of broadcast. And this was part of a pilot program. It's a certification level that the Society of Broadcast Engineers has put together. And, well, part of it is learning the basic building blocks of broadcast. We started our tour at the pool building. The transmitters from Nautel have different displays and they can display test results like a spectrum analyzer, a um, different constellation diagram, different types of, of displays for making sure that your transmitter is working properly. That is a representation of the stereo signal right now. If you're listening on analog radio, see it's strictly mono right now. It's voice right now, public commercials. When, oh, okay. when we're back so to when music, you'll circle, yeah. Okay. When, you, when we go back to music, you'll see what it looks like. Next was the discussion about exciters, and here's Doug to explain about that. The exciter is what actually generates the signal that you hear ultimately, or the radio picks up. It generates the carrier on 104.3. Okay, adds the modulation. In this case, adds the HD signals as well, and then this guy is a combined amplifier, meaning it does analog and digital. Just takes it from a small power level up to a larger power level. That's what all these, that's what all these do. I mean, this is the exciter for this guy. And, and these are older too, aren't they? Yeah. And the exciter for this guy is actually inside of it. Meter readings and logging is very important for transmitters and its associated equipment. It allows you an opportunity to see trends and be able to be proactive with maintenance and catch problems before they really become problems. So logging is how you go about keeping those things from happening. Read whatever I want. Actually, you can, you want. actually you can just go in here. You can go into a remote access and just copy the whole thing and just paste it into a document, which is what I used to do. You don't have to read it from there. And then all the RF modules, you have all the various parameters and the RF modules. There again, you can just get into it by remote access and just copy the whole thing and paste it into a document. And then you're just looking for whatever's not right. Yeah, exactly. You can just take it, yeah, you can just cursory look at it and go, oh, this all looks fine. But if there's a real issue, the transmitter's gonna tell you anyway, it's gonna say, and the status is gonna go, oh, hey, module 12 is, is too hot, or you know, module 12 is dead, or Power supply 12 is dead, but this is more of an old fashioned thing. So here we are, we're just keeping track of the generator run hours and then basic readings you see on there are, are kept here. The line pressure, the room temperature, all that stuff. Next week we'll be at the post office building and we'll see more cool things and we'll continue our tour of Mount Wilson. So with that, thanks for joining me. Thanks for being a part of this channel. And until next time, well, we'll see you then.